In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Francis of Assisi. Let us acknowledge our saints and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all ancient and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps, we may follow your son and through joyful charity, come to be united with you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Pity me, pity me, you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you hound me down like God, while you never have enough of my flesh? Ah, would that these words of mine were written down, inscribed on some mountain, with iron chisel, an engraving tool cut into the rock forever. This I know, that my avenger lives, and he, the last, will take his stand on earth. After my awaking, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will gaze on him and find him not aloof. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart is spoken. Seek his face. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm, and take heart, hope in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now. But remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not make you welcome, go out into its streets and say, we wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this. The kingdom of God is very near. I tell you on that day, it will not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. Peace of Christ be with you all. Well, I'll, I'll apologize. Maybe someone won't understand my English. It's a very bad English. I'm not a native English speaker. So try to understand something. If you don't understand anything, just ask the Holy Spirit. He will tell you. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is set before you. These words of Christ may sound easy to hear, but we know they are not easy to realize. Are we ready to give up our financial well-being? Are we ready to adopt joyfully a nomadic lifestyle, knowing that difficulties are waiting for us on the way? Christ himself told us, I'm sending you like lambs among wolves. These words seem foolish. Putting one stress in the promise of Christ may seem foolish to us nowadays. A man did it. Saint Francis of Assisi did it. He believed, he trusted the words of Christ and obeyed his commands, leaving his wealthy family to follow Christ in poverty. Why? shouldn't we imitate this man? Christ may not need us to live in poverty, but our world needs genuine and full testimony of faith, genuine testimony of charity, genuine testimony of hope. And it means men and women, believers, living joyfully in poverty. One day, St. Francis experienced a vision in the chapel of San Damiano. He saw Christ on the cross, commanding him, go and repair my house. This house of Christ is the church. That is, living troublesome days, are we able to leave everything to follow Jesus like St. Francis in order to repair God's house, 
or are we going to remain quietly in our nice and huge houses leaving Christ on the cross? Here at this sacred spot where the most holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother. For all the faithful that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work her heartily for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life, we pray to the Lord. For all of us here present and for our families that by, the, by, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. God of infinite God, goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, God, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice as your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our the good of all his holy church. As we bring you these offerings, O Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By the intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are free of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, let us pray, brothers and sisters. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received, that imitating the charity and apostolic zeal of Saint Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. And we also have an opportunity to bless any sacred objects that you might have bought today. So if you'd like to bring them out of your bag now and, uh, and hold them up, we'll ask God to bless these. The intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, of the Angel of Peace, uh, through St. Jacinta, St. Francisco, and through St. Francis of Assisi on this special day, we ask that all these religious objects will be blessed for the purpose of which they've been built, and through the, the intercession of these saints, everyone who holds them on their person or venerates them may be brought safely to heaven. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit come down upon them and remain with them forever. Amen. Amen. 